We start, though, with Way 31's Stephen Del Cizian. He's in Marshall County, where despite their tragic loss, Spray's family asked the DAR's game against Brindley Mountain High School be played in his honor. Stephen? Yeah, guys, that's right. In the last 10 minutes, I was actually able to get uh, with the DAR head football coach and the Brinley Mountain football coach, and they have a plan for on the field on how they want to remember Spray. So DAR's first offensive possession and their very first play, they're going to come onto the field with one less player on purpose. That offensive line is going to be missing their right tackle. That's the position that Eli Spray played, and they want to make it known that he cannot be replaced ever. Now. The, the DAR coaches and players got to the field around 5.30 today, and they're currently, some are in the locker room getting ready for tonight's game, and some are already out on the field trying to loosen up. The coaches tell me before kickoff, DAR will retire Spray's jersey and present it to his family members. Now, this game initially was going to be canceled, but Spray's family stepped in. They said no. They want this game to still be played. It's what Eli would have wanted. Guys, kickoff here in just an hour. Reporting live at Brindley Mountain High School, Stephen Del Cizian, Way 31 News.